guys, it's Eve, and today I'm going to be showing you all my Jacqueline Muslim books. So let's get started. So first, I'm going to start with the hardbacks, and the first hardback I have got is Jackie Daydream. But I'm going to read you the blurbs, but this has no blurb. Next is Little Stars, and I'm going to read the book because this one has a blurb. Grand opening tonight, laugh, cry, guess, and cheer at the fabulous tale of Little Stars, Hetty Feather and Diamond. The special guest, Miss Ruby, mistress of the musical, Miss Gibson, dressmaker to the stars, Marina Royal, Hetty's new heroine, Flirty Bertie, Hetty's sweetheart, Dear Jem, Hetty's first love, and Madame, Madame Adeline, their most treasured friend. For one, for one night only, don't miss their greatest adventure. That's the blurb. Um, so... I'm going to move on to the big pile, but I've got like them in order of my five favourites, but they're in the big pile because like the big books. So my first favourite Jacqueline Wilson book ever is Candy Floss. I just really like this book. And that's a blind I'm going to read. Floss loves spending weekend. <clears throat> sorry, Floss loves spending weekends with her dad in his greasy spoon cafe, even if it isn't the smartest place in town. When Floss's mum and her new husband Steve move to Australia, Floss decides to stay at home with dad. He's not much good at ironing or putting up swings, but they muddle along on a diet of chip butties and candy floss from the local fun farm. But then disaster strikes, and they find themselves homeless. Will their fairground friends help out? Or could Dad and Floss be destined for a life on the road? So there's the blur. There's a front cover. This was not out of the box set, so I got that. Because I've got some out of the box set, which I took out. So I'm just going to put them next to that. So my second favourite is Lily Loam's out of the box set. Um, <clears throat> this is what the blurb looks like, and now I'm going to read it. Lily's things to remember. How to look after my brothers and sisters. My brother and sister. Make sure they just they eat three meals a day and not just ice cream. Two, keep clothes not too mucky. Three, everyone must go to bed before midnight, especially Pixie. Four, don't let them go to school in case they give away our secret. Five, keep everyone safe till mum comes back. There's the blurb. And there's the front cover. So next, my third favourite is The Longest Will Song. I've just re finished reading this and it's so good. And I'll show you the one that I'm reading now. It's in the small pile. Um, so I really like this book. And this is the front cover. And this is the blurb, so I'm going to read it. Dear Mum, oh dear, I know you can't read this, but still, I need to write to you. There's so much I want to tell you. I've been doing a special project about whales. Did you know that humpback whales can sing? Is it? Isn't it amazing to think of all those whales down in the depths of the ocean singing? Usually the songs are quite short, but one whale was recorded singing non-stop for 22 hours. I sing for even longer if it would only make you wake up. I'm, I'm going to play some beautiful whale songs when I visit you in hospital next. You'll listen, won't you? Lots and lots and lots of love, Ella. There's Ella and her mum. There's lots of pictures she's been drawn. There's a letter. So next is my fourth favourite, Secrets. This is a blurb. I'm going to read you. I'm India and I'm Treasure. My mum's a famous fashion designer and we live in this gorgeous house. Wait, I'm India. My mum's a famous fashion designer and we live in this gorgeous house. Mum's a nightmare though. Nothing I do is good enough for her. I wasn't sure what Treasure and I would have much in common, but it turns out we do. So when Treasure needed to escape from her violent stepdad, I knew the perfect time place. I'm Treasure. I live with my gran. We don't have much money, but gran's brilliant and ev and anything's better than going back to live with mum and horrible Terry. We both love Anne Frank. She's the reason we start to write our diaries. Diaries, not diary. Diaries. Let's go next to that. Was not out of box set, so I'm gonna go down there. The next fa the my fifth favourite is the worst thing about my sister. I'll read this is a blurb, I'll read you it. 
The worst thing about my sister, she's super duper girly and prissy and pink. Yuck. She always tells on me when we have a fight. She stole my my special night with Dad, even though everyone knows Toy Story 3 and Chips are my favourites. She laughs at my animals, even though she can't go to sleep without her baba. She never sticks up for me. Blurb. So next is Hetty Feather. I don't have emerald star and sapphire, but I see yet, but I'm going to get them when I've read this one, because I haven't read Hetty Feather yet. And, uh, and this is what the back looks like. I'm going to read it. Roll up, roll up. For the mizzen tail of Hetty Feather, gasp as she is abandoned as a baby. Should I, at the hardship she suffers, wonder at the search for her real mother. Hetty Feather, oh wait, no, that's not the times. Um, there. Next is Diamond. And that is the Ladies and gentlemen, Tanglefield's Travelling Circus is proud to present the incredible, the extraordinary, the magical Diamond, the acrobatic child wonder. Pull back the curtain, enter the cop, and discover her amazing story of heartbreak, danger, courage, and friendship. Let's see. And the last big book I have is Opal Plumstead. And that is the back, so I'm going to read you. Primrose Villa, Kingtown, 12th of November 1913. Dear Father, oh, it's hateful to think of you in your prison cell all alone. We miss you terribly. Please don't blame yourself for what happened. You mustn't worry about us. I promise to take care of Mother and Cassie. I have le left school now. Now work and now work at the Fairy Glen Sweet Factory. It was so hard to give up my scholarship, and some of the girls are horrid. But I quickly showed them, although that although I'm Ill, I'm little, I'm also fiery. And Miss Roberts, the factory owner, is wonderful. She is a sufferer guest, and I'm going to be one too. Your loving daughter. So back is like a letter, like the longest will song. Um, so next on to like the medium books. So the first one is Dustbin Baby. And this is the back. My name is April. April Showers. That's my nickname at school now. At least it's better than April Fool. And it's much better than Dustbin Baby. I, I don't know where I came from or who I really am. All I know is that I was abandoned as a tiny baby in our rubbish bin, but I'm safe with my foster mother now. But oh, but if only I could find my real mother somehow. There we go. That was out of the set. Then I have Vicky Angel. Um, I actually... Wait, no, I'm not on that yet. Wait, oh, Vicky Angel, yeah. There's another letter. In the back. Dear Vicky, I still can't believe you're gone. I'm so lonely without you. It's impossible to know what to do without you here. You were always the one who made all the decisions for bo for us both. I keep thinking about you and all about the accident. My memory is so blurry already, but I have such a horrible feeling that it might have been all my fault. I can't help wondering what I'd say to you if I could see you again. Love from your best friend always, Jade. The back. That's the front. So next is the story of Tracy Baker. I actually have two of these, as I was saying before. One of them's out of the set. I can't remember which one. This one's out of the set. I'll just put that one down there and I'll read this one. I'm Tracy Baker. This book is all about me. If you, I'd read it if I were you. It's the most incredible, dynamic, hard rending story honest tracy baker is 10 years old but she has been bestseller for 20 years this this is a hilarious touching first story about feisty tracy and her life in the children's home she calls the jumping ground there we go. the next is starring tracy baker it looks like, it looks like that. tracy baker is back and she's just desperate for a role in her school play. There before 
they're performing a Christmas carol, and for one worrying moment, the irreparable I don't know what that is, Tracy thinks she might, she might not even get to play one of the unnamed, unnamed street urchins, but then she's cast the main role. Can she manage to act grumpy and difficult enough to play Scrooge? Well, she doesn't, well, she does have a bit of help from Justine Payne the Bum Littlewood. There we go. Next is Bad Girls. I'm nearly finished reading this there. Um, I stopped because I got the box set for Christmas and I started reading the box set instead. But, um, I'm just going to move on. Yeah, um, I'll read this. That's what the back looks like and that's what the front looks like. Kim Skang has better watch out because Tanya's my friend now and she'll show them. Man Mandy has picked on a skull for as long as she can remember. That's why she is delighted when cheeky, daring, full of fun, Tanya picks her as a friend. Mum isn't happy. She thinks Tanya is a bad girl and a bad influence, but Mandy's sure Tanya will be a brilliant friend. That looks like... No, oh, that wasn't in the box then. Next, I've got two copies of Best Friends. This one was not in the box set, so I just put that over there. This one was in the box set, and I'll read it. Alice is my very best friend. I don't know what I'd do without her. Jim and Alice have been best friends since they were born. It never seems to matter that Gemma loves football, football while Alice prefers drawing, or that Gemma never stops talking while Alice is more likely to be listening. They share everything. Then one day, Gemma finds out that there's something Alice isn't sharing, a secret. And when Gemma discovers what it is, she isn't sure she and Alice can say best friends forever. So it looks like that's Gemma and that's Alice. Um, yeah, I've got that box it. So that's all of my middle books. And now I want to just the last small books. So the first one is The Suitcase Kid. That's what looks like. When my parents split up, they didn't know what to do with me. My, my family always lived at Mulberry Cottage. Mum, Dad, me and Vanish, my lovable toy rabbit. But now Mum lives with Builder the Boon and his three kids and Dad lives with Carrie and her twins. And where do I live? I live out of the suitcase. Well, week with mum, mum's new family and one week with dad's. It's as e easy as ABC, that's what everyone says, but all I want to do, all I want is to go home back to Mulberry Cottage. What's it look like? Um, next is the mum minder. I'm Sadie and I'm nearly nine. Mum's a childminder, but she doesn't have to mind me. I can mind myself, easy peasy. Lucky for Mum, because now she's got the flu, so I've got to mind her and help with all the babies. That's it. Looks like. And then the last book is the Worry website, which I'm reading now. And I've just I just started yesterday, and I'm on page 35. That's what it looks like. Type in your worry. If anything... If any is anything bothering you, problems in class or at home, don't know where to turn for help. Log on to the worry website. Type in your worry and wait for the good advice to flow in. At least that's the plan when Mr Speed sets up his cool new worry website for the class. Holly, Greg, Natasha and the rest feel that they've got shared loads of worries, but as they find out sometimes the best advice comes from the most unexpected place. Cool. So thank you guys so much for watching. Comment, like, comment, like, and subscribe. See you guys on Monday. Bye.